In part two of this episode of Interviews from the Backseat, we talk with social media influencer Sarah Gosno about COVID. When you're starting to feel like overwhelmed or like down on your luck, you're like, woe is me, because everybody in every situation has those moments. It's just to really try and like focus on the positive. So how has uh, COVID-19 affected your family? Oh gosh. I mean, honestly, again, this is a positive mindset. <laughs> right. I mean, at first I was very, very, very afraid. The schooling situation, I would have like anxiety attacks about it. Like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Like our kids, <laughs> was it, like scholastic futures, like on me. I'm like, oh, they're screwed. Like, you know, I'm like, what are they gonna do? You know, because the positive that's come from it is I kind of feel like our lifestyle has slowed down a lot, yes. which it kind of reminds me of like when I was growing up, like in the nineties, you know, like we yeah. ate family dinners more often and we, you know, did puzzles together <laughs> before. I remember being like, gosh, we're going at such a fast pace, like go, 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 go. And I'm like, this is abnormal. Like what's expected yeah. of us for, as people, like, you know what I mean? Sports mm -hmm. and school, like, it's just, I think like it's been, a blessing too in a way i mean yeah. you know obviously the economy like is it's you know made the economy suffer but i feel like we all will get creative and we'll come out of this we're like a part of history like our grandkids are going to learn about this in history books so it's like <laughs> how we come out of this is i think really important we can come out of this all more unified more you know a lot of things have been brought to everyone's attention so if we can come out of this stronger and better and less selfish people and a lot cleaner because we'll wash our hands more right <laughs> so you know one of the biggest things that you had mentioned earlier is the schools you know like your kids going yes. to school and learning online mm -hmm. uh tell me your experience with that and your some of your thoughts um so luckily i mean steve and i are blessed to where we both like can work from home but it's it's still been difficult and challenging though because even though they were on Zoom calls and stuff with their teachers, you still need to like stay on top of them. I'm thankful that our county is going virtual, just be even though I'm also like, oh, I have to like teach my kids and I have to have like a classroom, like what am I gonna do? But like, I feel like a lot of parents, because this virus is so like unknown, we're all so unsure. Like before when we had the choice, I was like, do I send them to school? But then they have to wear a mask all day and then you hear stuff about the masks too. And then like everything that's being put out there like contradicts the other. So I was thankful that our county kind of made that decision for us. But I do understand that there are a lot of families out there that are like, no, like this can't be an option. Like, what are we going to do? So I, like, I totally understand all sides and then like you know the county i grew up in they had the option to go back and a lot of right. families did go back and then you know people are passing judgment on them because kids aren't wearing masks but then it's just it's like everyone is just arguing with each other and i just feel like this is a time we all need to show each other some grace i mean including ourselves as parents um teachers, the school board, because no matter like what decision is made period right now, like it's not going to work for a part of our community. You know what I mean? It's not for everybody. Like, yeah. So it's just, it's, so I think we're all like for multiple reasons, we're all like struggling. And, but one thing positive that can come from this is, you know, I think as a society, we've become so like me, 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 like what works for me, what works for my family. And I think this is like an opportunity where like even in our county we're seeing families create like pods to where like like a small group of kids you know where mm -hmm. the families will like team together they'll be like okay all the kids will go to your house on this day and oh, then wow. they can come to my house on this yeah. so that way it's giving parents that opportunity that do, right. like have to go to work it's it's forcing people to like come together as a community more again which yeah. again can be positive this is an opportunity for us to like lend our neighbor a helping hand but yeah i mean i know it sounds corny but like we're all in this together and i think this is giving us the opportunity to step up to the plate you know and be better people show empathy and compassion for others like that's right. but that's been a theme for you on on your yeah, social media and your yeah. website is is empathy and yeah thinking about other people yeah uh, 
Yeah. So, yes. Because yeah. this 2020, if it's taught us anything, it's like, it's not about you. <laughs> it's not about me. It's about like all of us, you know? And it's like, it, it just boils down to what our parents used to teach us when we were little. Treat others like how you'd want to be treated. You know what I mean? It's like a very simple, Way it's of something thinking. simple, but we've gotten away from it, right? Yeah. <laughs> what are some of the struggles that you're facing right now uh, with COVID-19 and um, yeah, all the stuff going on? So I think like, you know, I have, I'm not gonna lie, like my anxiety though has gone up a lot since all right. of this. I and mean, Steve is actually, he's like the best at being like, it, like Sarah, it is what it is. You can't control it. Like you just will figure it out just like everybody else. And so... I have to remind myself that, that like, you're not the only person freaking out. Everyone is, you know? Right. So, um, and for Steve, I mean, he can't travel right now as much, but um, that's probably been more of a struggle for me though. Like, <laughs> I, I'm like, what are you going on a business trip? Like, I need you to go out of town. <laughs> it's been a struggle too, like cleaning up after everyone. I'm like, oh, oh like, you guys are so messy. So there's definitely been some bickering and yelling here and there with our family. So I'm like, you don't do anything, you know? Right. <laughs> I think everyone's going through that. I'm like, ah, you know? So it's, yes. it's just been a, you know, it's been a struggle, I think for everybody, you know, just in different yeah. ways. Yeah. Oh, we, can't, awesome. we can't travel as much. Yeah. So that's, and that's hard for me too, because I like, we love to, tra I mean, you know, you yeah. love to travel. Yeah. Well, that's Thanks. one of the big parts of your, your blog and yeah. your, your website. And yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So that I... makes it very difficult to write a, you know, yeah. a travel blog. When yeah. <laughs> yeah. When there's I can't... no travel. Yeah. So what additional advice and encouragement can you give uh, some of our viewers and um, about, you know, how to handle COVID, uh, how to handle life? I mean, you're struggling with a disease and yeah. uh, overcoming it in amazing ways. And, um, you know, what what advice can you give people um my advice would be when you're starting to feel like overwhelmed or like down on your luck or like woe is me because everybody in every situation has those moments it's just to really try and like focus on like the positive and i know it sounds like kind of cheesy and everyone's like just think about the good stuff but like it really does help and um something that's really helped me too is when i start to feel kind of like claustrophobic with you know, it's just a lot coming at us in millions of directions. I go outside and I take my shoes off and I like ground my, like I'll just stand outside on the grass for like 20 minutes or water my plants. Yeah. Like I have found through all of this that like being outside really is, it's like a reset button. You know what I mean? It just kind of right. clears your mind. Put the phone down. There's so much news and everything too. With it just being a crazy year like just taking a step away from your phone and just like living in your truth. Like if, cause I think we all tend to feel alone when we are going through struggles. Like no one, like, no, you know what I mean? Nobody but like, gets it. <laughs> but you're, you're really not, especially in this situation, like no one is alone. Like we're all right. going through that. And like also embracing that too. Like I'm really sad right now, or I really don't know how I'm going to pay my bills next month. And I'm, and that's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but you know what I mean? Like I'm feeling this way, like, and that's okay. Like it's not, we don't need to be ashamed of being sad. Like we're all human and that's what connects us with each other is like our emotions and how we feel. Sometimes it's okay to just like cry and eat a gallon of ice cream, maybe not a gallon. Well, and just watch TV and just be like, uh -huh, and be in your feelings for a little bit and then be like, okay, I let it all out. Now I'm good. Right. right. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not a gallon. Maybe not a gallon, but <laughs> Steve would probably tell you there are, there's a couple of shameful days I've had though, where I'm like, oh my God, where did it go? <laughs> you know? So, yeah. I think that's for a lot of us. <laughs> yeah, we're like, oh my God. And the COVID pounds will come off. <laughs> we're, all, we're all like, oh my God. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you yeah, so much for being vulnerable. Yeah, thank you for having me. And, yeah, thank, your stories are amazing. So oh, thanks. Um, Hopefully you get a lot out of it. I know I did and I will put all of your information uh, down yeah. below So if anybody wants to reach out to you and join yeah. your blog or yeah. Instagram yeah. Or Check out your website. So thank you very much. Yeah um, Check back with us for more interviews from the back seat and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel Friend us on Facebook connect with us on LinkedIn and follow us on Instagram until next time Be encouraged and make a difference. Bye